In Qing Dynasty, in public, the emperor usually called it himself, Zhen. But when the emperor worshipped the heaven or gods, he generally called it himself, Chen, minister. Because in a country, the emperor had the highest status. But according to the order Tian Di, Jun Qin Shi, the emperor's status was lower than the gods. In personal life, like the emperor talked with his imperial women, he usually called it himself, Wu, just like most people did. In Rou Yu family, the emperor's daughter, the consort daughter, and the biological parents of the emperor called it the emperor Huang Di. Imperial women, including the empress, called it the emperor Huang Shang. Prince and the princess usually called it their father Huang Fu or Han Ama. But in public, especially in formal ceremonies, prince must call their father Huang Shang because the emperor and his kids should follow the normal order of Tian Di Jun Qin Shi. So the Rou Yu kids should respect their father as the emperor first, then as the normal father. In Qing TV dramas, Rou Yu kids always call their father Huang Ama. The word Huang Ama appeared in late Qing Dynasty and didn't be commonly used. For government officers, they should call the emperor Huang Shang. When the officers met the emperor, the first thing they should do was paying respect to the emperor. Han Chinese officers said, Chen Gong Qing Huang Shang Sheng An. Well, Manchuria officers said, Nu Cai Gong Qing Huang Shang Sheng An. Chen and Nu Cai equals I, which was used by the government officers to call themselves before the emperor. In Qing Dynasty, the emperor was Manchuria people. Manchuria government officers had a more close relationship with the emperor. So they called it themselves Nu Cai. Han Chinese government officers didn't do it. For a few eight banners officers, who had a very close relationship with the emperor. They could occasionally call the emperor Zhu Zi. In TV dramas, you can hear government officers call the emperor Wan Sui or Wan Sui Ye, which was rarely happened in real history. For example, in Yong Zheng's time, if the government officers dared to call Yong Zheng Wan Sui or Wan Sui Ye, he highly possible was punished. But after middle of Qing Dynasty, Wan Sui Ye could be used by emperor's very close servants. Usually, Eunuchs and imperial maids called it the Emperor Zhu Zi. In Qing Dynasty, Emperor's very close servants might call the Emperor Lao Ye Zi to show their respect to the Emperor and also had a close relationship with the Emperor. For example, Pu Yi's white nurse once called it the Pu Yi Lao Ye Zi. 
Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.